So in this video, I'm gonna install a safety bar to help make the shower a safe place for mom to get in and out of. So safety bars are a brilliant thing to install in the bathroom, especially when you have aging parents. Nothing worse than having a fall. So what we're gonna do here is just go through the process real quick. Now this is a Moen safety bar. It's a great little thing. When it's installed, you don't see the surface screws. That's the kind I like. And the way you do this is there's always a set screw on the side and the Allen key usually comes in the package. Okay, so these safety bars have three little set screws on <laughs> each of these, which is really intricate. And nice of them to put a few extra in the bag, because working with this, you are most likely going to have these falling all over the place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. So, I mean... With these set screws, it gives you the ability to have a really nice clean look, which is, it's nice. It's a lot of work for a clean look. <laughs> ah, for a minute there, I thought it was totally set screwed. All right. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Now we're ready to go. All right, so we got the two covers off and all six set screws are set aside. And we'll just set these back in place for just a minute. Now here's the benefit. We have three locations on that plate. Three locations on this plate to put a screw. The truth is there's washers in the bag and you can install this just about anywhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the wall. <coughs> now we've already determined our location for our studs. I know one's here and I know one's here. And this is where I wanna talk about making it pretty. If you can, Make it aesthetically pleasing. You know, this is kind of in the center of this tile. That's on the grout line. That's kind of cute. I think that'll work out well. I want to have the hole at the top as far away from the edge of that stone as you can to help avoid cracking. Of course, this is something you want to wait in like a day or two after you put the tile in before you go at it. And once you're holding it all there, take out your marker and put a little dot where you want to drill your hole. Now, I'm going to make a cross here because that didn't make a dot. <laughs> ah! Now, we're going to set all of this aside until we're done drilling. So, we're using a simple glass and tile bit. The tile here that's installed is ceramic. I love working with ceramic because it makes installing fixtures so much easier. It makes no difference for waterproofing or how strong the shower is. So if you can get a chance to buy ceramic instead of porcelain for your shower, you're gonna thank yourself if you wanna put fixtures on later. Okay, so we're gonna go in low speed with the drill and moderate amount of pressure. And we'll just drive right through this like hot knife through butter. Now, in this case, this is tile over tile, so we have to drill a little bit deeper than we were would regularly. There we go. Whew. And if you're curious about seeing the tile over tile video, there'll be a link in the description below. package comes with some two inch stainless steel screws perfectly suited for what we're doing if this is a regular installation but because we're tile over tile I'm only going to end up with about a quarter inch of a screw in the actual threads in the wood so we're not going to go with these instead 
We're going to use the washers that come in the package. Here they are. And we're going to use some number 10 3 inch screws. Okay, here we are. We're going to use these bad boys instead. Okay, in conjunction with the washers. And that's how we're going to mount this. So what we're going to do is just get one in. Nice and loose, okay, on each end. And then we'll get the bar back to where the position is and confirm our locations with the marker. You don't want to finish your install. See how much options I have here? Really want to be careful that we get this right. Okay. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a couple of these on in the different locations. There we go. So that after I've taken the bar off, I know how to line it up again. And then we'll finish screwing it in. That is a little tip that will save you a lot of time. Here we are. Let's get that lined up perfectly. Let's see if we got this right the first time. Perfect. Now all we do, get these set screws back in. Just get them started. <sighs> My hands are getting too big for this kind of stuff. Yep, that's frustrating. So the easiest way to do this is put the set screw on the Allen key. And place it there, go backwards until it clicks. Give it a bit of a twist. Six times. And then we're going to put the decorative rings back on. And then install it in position and then tighten up all those set screws. Now, It's a little tedious, but if it's done right, it'll last a long time. And you won't have to get creative <laughs> in doing problem solving to get something like this installed. Get all six of these bad boys here. And then these other covers just snap in place. Okay, now, this particular bar is not in a wet part of the shower. So if it was, if you're gonna change your screws, recommendation is to um, apply some clear silicone over the head of that screw and in that hole itself, just to make sure that it's not gonna get exposed to water and it won't rust out. Now, I think that's pretty much installed. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks to help make your life easier renovating at home. And give us a like if you like this kind of information. That way we know to make more of these kind of videos.